what's going on everybody today i'm doing something that none of y'all will probably ever do uh, which is i have to make some brackets for my cork sport cold air box i received this third or fourth hand and it didn't have the brackets for the bottom so what i did was that and I, I made a template of what i thought i needed i traced it over to aluminum drilled some holes and then I input the stock uh, bushings and then I put it on to the stock location mark the holes drill the holes and here we are so on this one it needs two brackets so it needs one for the back by the battery by the battery box and then it needs one that's on the driver side frame rail now the one on the driver side frame rail is a few inches lower than the one that is in front of the battery box so i have this one made so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to measure the distance between the frame rail and the bottom of the battery box and i'm going to try to make a bracket off that way it needs to be pretty long because it seems like it goes into these three holes right here and it's kind of offset as well uh so I'm going to try to figure it out, and when I do, I'll be back. All right, so I got three temporary permanent bolts holding on the back bracket. So now let's get the side bracket on the mount and let's see how this lines up. I'm thinking from the length that it's only gonna reach uh, the first two holes right there, but we shall see, cause I'm not sure with my measurements. It's actually sitting perfect, but we only have one, uh, one spot in here. So I think that's gonna do fine for now. So I'm just gonna take my Sharpie and just mark this spot here. I'm gonna drill a hole, find a nut, bolt it up. Voila. So both brackets are mounted. So the only thing I need to figure out now is where the intake goes through the hole. I guess there used to be something there that's not there anymore. So there's a big old fat gap around there. So let me try to figure something out to go there and I'll be back. Get it installed and let's see how it looks. And then for the intake tube, I had this uh, this foam put it on there. That should kind of clear up that space uh, a little bit. And that is looking good. This had a crack in it, so I put some reflective tape around on the crack. Uh, somebody had drilled a big hole in the bottom, so I double sided taped that up. And then the two mountain holes that didn't get utilized, taped those up that way to kind of keep the hot air from getting into the cold air box. And the screw holes and everything lines up lines up but basically i just made brackets for to replace the brackets that weren't there and i had this in before without the brackets and i could hear it rattling around 
and this is in there pretty solid now so it should not rattle so I just wanted to solve a problem that I had because Corp Sport does not seal the brackets separately uh, so yeah you know doesn't take fancy tools to make something work it just takes a little bit of creativity and some time and just some caveman methods so I went ahead and got it installed this thing is in there good it is not gonna rattle because it is not moving at all so let me start it up and I don't know how good it's gonna come through on the camera but let's see happen to have a cork sport box that did not come with the brackets you can easily make them I made them with uh, an old sign that's made out of aluminum easy to bend if you just have a vise or a hammer or a block of wood or whatever the case may be so like I said you don't need fancy tools CNC machines and stuff to make simple brackets uh, I will probably either paint that bottom bracket black or just cut it where it doesn't show one or the other but other than that, oh, I think I'm going to get some black bolts uh, for the side as well. But other than that, this is good to go. So, like I said, think, build, enjoy. I will see you guys later and gals. Peace. That's my peace sign. Hold on. Peace. <laughs>